This portrait of an ancient English oak tree outside of Oxford, England, above a farm where I lived when I was a student in Oxford, was done by a dear, dear friend. Her name is Lori Lander. She painted this beautiful portrait of the tree that I came to call Merlin's tree. And Merlin's tree, as you can tell, just looks like a wizard casting a spell. I, 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 would, I would walk up the trail and I'd sit here and read. This is the first place I ever read The Once and Future King by T.H. White, a book that really introduced me to the wonders of Merlin as a character. But I always thought, you know, the way these branches are, are, are coiled and then reaching out, there is a wizard casting uh, lightning bolts or something like that. Anyway, Lori kindly painted that for me at the end of our days at Oxford. And when I look at this tree, I think back to that moment because I had no idea whatsoever that 20 years later, I would have the chance to add a few stories of my own to that great wondrous tapestry of myth about Merlin.